Okay, welcome back guys. So in this tutorial what we're going to be doing is just taking a brief look at the directory structure which we're going to be using to achieve HTML5 video and we're going to be doing a little bit of resource gathering as I said in the previous video. Now in the root folder we have the index page which is just the HTML document. We have a folder called videos and inside this we have a video called video and I'm going to be showing you where to download this from. I've already got this, but as I've said, I'll show you. Uh, that, by the way, is in an AVI format, um, but we will be having to change that. We've got a folder called Style Sheets, and in here we have our Style Sheets document, which is the CSS file, literally called Style Sheet. A folder called JS, that standing for JavaScript, and in here we have a JavaScript file called JavaScript.js. Uh, and we have this images folder and in that we have an image which if you noticed on the last videos we had this sort of poster image that appeared before we played the video this is just a little PHP Academy logo that I've got so with that all said let's take a little look at some of the stuff we need to download so here I'm at a website called Big Book Bunny uh, the address is bigbookbunny.org and this is the video that we're going to be using. Now it's a real movie, it's what I used when I was looking at HTML5 at university, uh, specifically with HTML5 video. Um, it's nine minutes long, it's a real video, and to get this you just need to go to uh, www.bigbookmoney.org, uh, click the download button here, and then we have um, a lot of different options available to us. For example here we've got an HD version, uh, very high definition. The one that I used was this 854 by 480 uh, purely because when we're converting the videos the bigger the video is in terms of its width and height the longer it takes to convert and for the purposes of this video demonstration it wasn't necessary to do that. Um, I recommend using this, this format here, this uh, MP4 format. It does come out in an AVI file though, I don't quite know why but um, you can download it from the Netherlands or the Lithuania in this example here. It doesn't mean that, for example, the video is going to be in Dutch. It just means that that's the server that you're downloading from. And so once you download that, you can put it into your video's uh, directory and it will appear here. And as you can see here, we've got the frame width at 854 pixels by 480. That's the video that we've downloaded. But as I said, this is redundant because we're going to be converting this into formats that do work. Uh, so what are we going to be using to actually convert the video? Well, if I go to this tab here, and the address is www.mirovideoconverter.com, this is the website which hosts the tool which we're going to be using to convert the videos. And it's completely free, and it's going to convert as it says here, almost any video to MP4, which we'll need, WebM, which we'll need, and Og Theora, which is great because, well, that's the formats that we need. So you just literally click download here, you'd install that like you would any other program, and what you'll get is this little thing here. Um, to use this, you just simply drag videos into it or choose the files. We'll choose the format and convert. In fact, we can do that now. I'll give you a demonstration. I'm not going to go through the entire process of watching it convert. That will take far too long. Uh, but I will show you how to convert the files. So if you click on Choose Files and navigate to the directory which you are hosting this website, if you like. Uh, so for me, it's in here and it's in my videos folder and it's video.avi so that's the one that I'm selecting so you're just finding the video that you've downloaded press open and in its own time it will display so we've got this video queued up here so video.avi and we want to choose a format now the format is under here you've got obviously a lot of op options here but you want to click the format button hover over video to expand that tab and then you have the sort of four files here. Um, you've got HD for high definition, SD for standard definition, MP4 and OG Theora. For the purposes of this tutorial you'll only need the WebM SD, MP4 and OG Theora. So I'll just start with OG Theora, press convert video 
and as you can see the video starts converting so what I'm going to do now is skip ahead as you can see it is quite slow and once it's uh, converted it we'll get this og file into our video for uh, videos it doesn't put it in the directory where we've converted it from it puts it in a separate directory but that's pretty simple to do so I will be with you in a moment okay so welcome back what we've done now is we've finally converted the video and the conversion times really do depend on sort of the power of your PC the definition of the video the length of the video for me this took about five minutes so it's a lengthy process but the legwork is necessary so once it's converted you're going to get two options here clear and show file if you just click show file it's going to open the directory in which the video is stored so literally copy this or cut it and then you want to place it in the directory for which you're going to be using the videos which in my case and here's a, an example of the root directory uh, I want to go in the videos uh, folder and paste this in here now for some reason the converter likes to put on these weird extensions. It's an OGV file and this other dot behind it that says dot og theora, it's not necessary. So you can just delete that and leave the OGV at the end. So effectively we've got a video called video.ogv, which is what we want. Now the sad part about this is that you're gonna need to do this two more times. So you would choose files, uh, there's a recently used uh, place here so you can just select the video again open it it will load up again in a second he says clear that choose file video.avi open there we go and uh, we're going to want to convert it to a different format so click on format down here video and then we've already done Ogtheora so we want to do mp4 and then webm and you would just start the conversion process over again and you're going to want to do this until you get uh, in effect four video files in your directory one's going to be the original video file that we don't need and then you're going to get two more which is the mp4 file and the webm file and bear in mind it's going to have some of the weird extensions that come over it um, for the sake of argument, I just delete the sort of how it said before video.ogfiora.ogv. It's just video.ogv. That will work for me. So, whilst you do this, um, it's going to take a little bit of time, I know, but it's necessary to get the HTML5 video up and running. In the uh, next part of this series, we're going to be doing a little bit of HTML work at last and uh, a, a tad bit of CSS.